guys, welcome back to another Metal Work Monday. My name is Gary, and as you saw, uh, we just got through doing the final assembly on this uh, electric hydraulic hole punch station that we put together. And if you stay tuned on the video at the end, I'll have some information on how you can uh, go about purchasing this, um, one of these units, and then building the uh, station or stand that we put together to go with it. Um, but for the next little bit, I'm going to just kind of walk you through um, just the operation of it and what the purpose of the stand was and just uh, the functionality of how this little unit can work. All right, the first thing that we're going to do uh, in the video is show you how we made this, uh, this sort of decorative band that goes around the outside. This is quarter inch uh, by two inch steel, quarter inch thick, two inches wide. And we've got a series of uh, seven eighths inch holes uh, that we punched in here using this punch and we didn't make take any measurements we didn't use any uh, measuring tapes yet we have them all equally spaced and we use this little tool to get the uh, to mark the hole spacing so uh, take a look on how we laid this out and use this guy to uh, quickly punch holes in the uh, decorative band going around the uh, perimeter of this unit So here's another common use uh, for this kind of thing. If you have square or round uh, steel parts that you need to drill or put holes around the perimeter of it in a consistent pattern, um, it can be done really easy with this hole punch. We've got to make these caster plates uh, for something else we're building. And uh, these are quarter inch. And so you see we got four of them, 16 holes that we got to cut out. So what we can do, uh, one of the important things that you need to do is all these have to be measured and cut to the same length and you also have to do a really good job of getting this centered exactly if this is not centered this this will not work properly your holes won't line up so I'm just gonna eyeball this I mean technically you could get a little more fussy with it but on this I'm just gonna eyeball it and um, I'm going to mark one hole location here. And then that's all we need to do. We'll go over to the uh, punch and punch all these out. We'll show you how we'll do that. All right, so I've taken a piece of angle iron and uh, simply just did a little trimming to get this to fit all the way back into there to create a little secondary fence with a little 90 degree uh, pattern on there to help us get this lined up. And I've just got a little clamp here that once we get it positioned, we'll clamp it and then we'll be good to go. So the first thing we need to do is kind of just generally slide this back in behind there. And then we need to slide this in and get this lined up right under our quarter inch die. And if the depth is not correct, uh, we just loosen up our adjustment back here. And uh, we need to bring this forward a little bit.
to about right in there. It's going to put us in the center of the hole. So we'll just type. One of the things that you can do is do a test piece on this uh, out of scrap just to make sure you're getting it where you want it and then, then do the rest of them. All right, so I think that's going to be pretty good right there. And then we need to slide our, and we got our stop slid in to get that uh, centered up the other way. All right, let's double check that. All right, and we'll put our clamp in place just to hold it. And we'll just start punching holes, okay? So we'll slide it in, punch it that way, flip it over, get it that way, then flip it over this way. You get the drill. So let's do it. Alright, just uh, you can see the whole uh, location's worked out good there. Uh, let's let it slide around, but you get the idea. They're lined up. They're a little oversized for quarter inch bolts, so a little wiggle room there. So this, this is not, uh, I guess I'll point out that this is not for precision work. This is for, you know, trying to get it pretty close where you have a little clearance fit. So we were making those casters for this uh, chop saw station here. So we see you got that all finished up. And that was uh, made quick work of getting 16 holes put in those plates. All right. Well, that wraps up this week's Metal Work Monday. <clears throat> if you have any interest in uh, purchasing one of these and building this whole configuration, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, I've got a link in the description of this video that will take you out to my website to a special place where uh, you can um, send me three dollars via PayPal and then what you'll get back is a quick email with a link to a one hour video uh, taking you step by step showing you every cut all the details of building this entire thing uh, also included for the three dollars you get a material cut list you know material thickness what the links are how to cut them as well as a shopping list with links to um, the eBay store where you can purchase this. I'm not selling this, it's just a link to where you can get this. Every nut, bolt, everything it takes to put this together, I've got a link to the uh, where you purchase that at um, or the specs you know that you need to uh, buy it from or SKUs, part numbers, that kind of thing. So uh, pretty much a complete setup, $3. Go, go hit the link um, in the description of this video if you want to check that out. Uh, also, I've had other people ask me about these t-shirts. Um, I have three, uh, a limited uh, quantity of three sizes. I've got medium, um, large, and extra large. And um, I've only got one style, one color. These are really uh, high quality shirts. Um, you've seen me wear these for six months. I've been wearing the same ones, wash them every week. Um, and they get a lot of wear and tear and so far they've held up extremely well uh, not faded they fit well you know some of the cheaper made ones you get them and the necks hanging low and uh, these these uh, I'm pretty pleased with so um, so if you want to buy a t-shirt go check that out you want to uh, see the video on the complete build uh, with the plans uh, go check that out otherwise I'll see you again here next week thanks everybody <laughs>